Hello students, I'm so glad you're joining me. I'm getting ready to do one of my favorite tasks, feeding the fish. They're always so happy to see me. First, let me get dressed for the job. All ready, let's grab the fish food. Now it's important not to overfeed the fish, so I'm only going to give them a little bit. I love to start my days hanging out with these fish. It feels good to take care of other living things. This is Mr. Speck. He prefers to be by himself. And this, this is Marvin. He's the biggest fish in the tank. He only swims at night. He's a vegetarian and he really likes cucumbers. I always find it so relaxing to watch the fish swim back and forth. It's my happy place. I have precisely 55 fish and they are pretty small, but I know there are bigger fish in the sea. I wonder what animals live in the ocean. What are the different areas of the ocean like? How do animals breathe underwater? Let's investigate. Wait a minute, my cousin, Dr. Ritz, the marine biologist, works at the American Museum of Natural History. Let's go pay him a visit. I'll grab my other hat. Let's go. Wow, we made it. Dr. Ritz told me to meet him in the Milstein Family Hall of Ocean Life. Do you think he'll recognize me? Maybe this way. Dr. Ritz, are you in here? Wow! Now that is a big, big, big blue whale! Hey, Mr. Ritz, I'm down here. Dr. Ritz, Dr. Ritz, I found you, I found you. This is my favorite place to meet people at the museum, right here under the big blue whale. I'm a marine biologist, and that means I study life in the ocean. Are you a teacher shark? Just trying to blend in. I didn't know there are animals this big in the ocean. Oh yeah, there are thousands of blue whales like this living in our oceans. They live in the open ocean, a featureless expanse of water far from shore. How long is this blue whale? Blue whales typically grow 70 to 100 feet. Oh, okay. The last time I visited the museum, I saw a titanosaur that was 122 feet long. So I guess the blue whale is not as big. Well, it's not as long, but a titanosaur had a long, thin tail and a long, thin neck. My friend Big Blue here is much more massive and is way heavier than a titanosaur would have ever been. So we could say it's the biggest. Blue whales are the biggest animals to have ever lived on Earth, and they are swimming in our oceans right now. That's amazing. I'd say Big Blue is the length of one, two, three whole school buses, or one whole basketball court. I wonder, how do they get so big? By eating the teeniest, tiniest things. Blue whales eat krill, tiny shrimp-like creatures, up to six tons of krill a day. That weighs as much as three cars. Even though you might be impressed by Big Blue's size, never forget how important the littlest creatures are. That's right. Even though you too might be small, you too are important. I wonder. Why doesn't the big blue whale have any gills? Well, that's because whales are not fish. Whales are mammals, and all mammals have lungs like you and me. They don't breathe underwater. Instead, whales swim up to the surface to breathe air. I wonder, 
How long can a big whale like that hold its breath? Blue whales usually come up to breathe every 30 minutes, but they can hold a breath in their lungs for up to 90 minutes. That's an hour and a half. Wow, that's a lot of oxygen. You should come visit the Bernard Family Hall of North American Mammals next time. I would love that. I can't wait to see them. See you soon, Big Blue. Bye-bye. I can't wait to explore with you again, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.